you're, you're away, mate. Uh, Thomas, I just wanted to ask quickly uh, ahead of Wednesday about Kovacic and Rudiger. Do you know? Are they? Do you have any more sort of update on, on how lucky they are going to be able um, to play? For Tony, I think he will. He can play with a mask, and uh, he trained today with a mask. So it's just about getting used to it. Um, uh, Fokova will be very, very tight because he had a little setback, felt something in, uh, around the muscle area, not the same area, but the same muscle. So I think it will be a very, very tight race for him. And uh, it's very likely that he will not make it, unfortunately. Just just off the, off, just off the back of that, uh, that, that last bit of news obviously on Kovacic is not great, but aside from that, could you be in better shape when you look at your team, your defensive record, the options you've got up top, central midfield, you know, I obviously appreciate what you said about Kovacic, but going into this game on Wednesday, you, you must feel like almost everything is there where, where, you, where you want it to be. We are absolutely in the place in which you want and in the, in the, in the situation in which you want to arrive in a crucial match like this on Wednesday. Unfortunately, we miss Kova and obviously we have some doubts with, uh, with Tony, but in general, it was very important to have this game today off our shoulders with a good result, so we have nothing to worry about and nothing to regret. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, we had some good performances today from, from players who, who didn't play in the last game, so it's nice because uh, everybody, I'm very sure everybody will be totally focused from, from Monday on. We have two training sessions Monday, Tuesday to prepare Real Madrid, so will be exciting. Um, I'm very happy to arrive with, with uh, this group in the semi-final. We feel ready for, for a big fight and I'm pretty sure that, that we need a big performance and uh, that Real Madrid will give us a hard time. So I've got two questions. Tony Banks and then Jerry Cox to finish. Tony. Hi, Thomas. Um, another clean sheet. Your defensive performances have been very good lately. But I did notice that at uh, one point during the uh, game today, you were frustrated that crosses kept coming into the uh, area. Even yeah. though it's yeah. a clean sheet, you clearly feel your defenders can do a bit better in some areas. Yeah, today I was not so happy with the, with the blocking from the crosses, like you heard, maybe, because I'm a spectator, so you hear everything. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a point because it's one thing to defend crosses when they arrive in the box, but it's uh, the best way to, to, if we defend with five, it is crucial that the wing backs are there, are close and are aggressive enough to, 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 to block crosses. This has nothing to do with Wednesday. This was today important. This is in general important. Um, I, I thought I had the feeling that we can improve on that and can could be a little bit more aggressive and in positioning maybe a bit deeper to to make it harder to to put crosses in dangerous areas. There's always room to space to improve, but uh, in general, I did not expect our our brightest game today. It's a, it's a complicated situation never too easy between two big matches so I'm, I'm very happy overall uh, when you hear something like this then it's about the situation and we want to 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 inform players to wake players up or to demand something special in this case from from the wing backs and yeah there were some moments where we suffered because it's a it's a complicated team to play against Fulham they adapt their shape all the time they they has not they have nothing to lose they, they have a full match, a full week to prepare this match. So it was uh, it was okay. We we did we did uh, we did very well. And, uh, Last question, Jerry Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, there's a suggestion Sergio Ramos will be back for Real Madrid on Wednesday. Is there a temptation to to play a traditional centre forward like Tammy or Oli Giroud? Or is it, uh, is it also a consideration that maybe Kai as a false nine will just make a difference there? Or maybe play no striker at all, then uh, uh, Ramos has nothing to fight against, can also be a solution. Um, I have not my mind, made my mind up yet. Let's, let's wait if he is fit. When he's fit, it's, a, it's another challenge because he is... Uh, the leader of the group, and uh, he is the guy to 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 give a lot of solutions to to any questions that we that that we will uh, hopefully ask them. 
yeah, let's let's wait and see who is in good shape, who is in good form, and and what type and what shape we play and and where we try to hurt them. I'm not so sure if they play again with five or back to four. There are many questions, but um, yeah, we need the we need the answers not now. It's enough if we have them on on Wednesday. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thanks, guys. Stay online for the full press conference.